Praise God, YouTube Christians, let's go. You don't have any idea. Leviticus 25, verse 9, the absolute juice in that verse. I just woke up from doing the live last night, got my coffee, started looking up these words. Unbelievable. We're not being raptured today. We're being raptured on September 27th, Yom Kippur. I'll explain it all when I go live next. It's all glorious, all glory to God. Listen to me, mockers and scoffers, I don't care about you. I do not care about the mocker and the scoffer. You are fulfilling Bible prophecy by mocking and scoffing, thinking this day will never come. It's coming you will be left behind, and I love it. I, I do not care about you mockers and scoffers. If you wake up in the tribulation, get killed, save your life, believe it in Christ through the tribulation, praise God, all glory to God. Most likely, you won't. If you're already deceived now, he might send you into tribulation fully deceived where you'll be worshiping the Antichrist and fallen angels. So I'm putting this together. This verse, Leviticus 25, 9, go ahead, start looking it up. It is unbelievable. All glory to God. God has squeezed 10 more days out of this search because it is a Jubilee year and all the fall feasts are combined. Trumpets goes into atonement. Tabernacles goes back into atonement, making it one jubilee where the trumpet is blown. Everything is forgiven for the people that make it. It's glorious. It is unbelievable. The first jubilee that's ever been fulfilled will be the rapture and all the rapture terminology being glorified. It's all in that one verse. So, Praise God, today is Tishri 1, and nine days later, it's going to be atonement. And listen, I'll give you this little nugget. Psalm 122, verse 4, is the rapture. It said, when the rods go up to the Lord, it'll be a testimony to Israel. What's going to be the biggest testimony to Israel when the rapture happens on Yom Kippur. 50 years ago to the day, 1973, God delivered them from the Yom Kippur war, which they were losing, which they screwed up. Golda Meir, she was the prime minister. She screwed up and didn't take it serious. They were losing that war big time. So if they would have lost, they would have been booted out of the land. God saved them. Oh, man, I am telling you, listen to this. I'm going to give you the nugget right now. Abraham was called out at 75 years old. 25 years later, they had Isaac, the son of promise. Israel, back in the land, 1948, 25 years exactly later was 1973, Yom Kippur. That's how God is telling us it was a jubilee. So Isaac was born on a jubilee 50 years later 2023 is the greatest jubilee and it will be fulfilled it will be the rapture it's all perfect this is why god made abraham wait 25 years 1948 plus 25 years is 1973 so there's god's hint hey that's a jubilee and now we do the full 50 years 2023 rapture I am telling you, it's coming no matter what. Watch what the world does. Watch what the world does. We're going on the Day of Atonement, the most solemn feast day to the Jews. It'll be their testimony when this huge event, when the graves break open and millions shoot up and disappear, the Jews will know something just happened on the Day of Atonement our Yom Kippur. That's why it'll be a testimony to the Jews. It's a rapture, jubilee on Yom Kippur. Let's go, I'm telling you.